Good morning, students. The topic for today's discussion is a micro hydro power plant. As you have already learned, what is a hydroelectric power plant? So this is like, as from the name itself, it is clear that it's a miniature, it's a micro form of a, a small form of a hydro power plant. So here also we use the water power or steam, like water power to generate electricity. So like a uh, micro hydro power plant means that the output will be ranging from 5 to 100 kilowatt only. So that much only small, uh, like that's why we call it a micro hydro power plant. So here we use either flowing steam or the water flow for generation of electricity. So the overall process will be same. The turbine will be rotating. It will be connected to the alternator and uh, that will produce the, uh, uh, produce the electricity, same. So this is actually mostly used in the developing countries like India. We have mostly in the in, in developing countries like India, Nepal and all. We have this um, micro hydro power plant, which is actually used to provide electricity to isolated communities or villages, like more far away places where we don't have this uh, electricity, normal national grid or state grid where we don't have their lines we go for what we call a micro hydro power plant and that will be usually done by private entities and all such uh, such a micro hydro power plants are there so sometimes and also when uh, when a micro hydro power plant it generates a lot of like up to 100 kilowatt and the requirement is only 50 or 80 kilowatt the remaining power they are actually they are given back to the national grid they sell it they sell it to the national grid also so it's like a micro hydro power plant. We have it in many places in uh, Kerala also. And sometimes the uh, students from engineering colleges and all, they do project, they, they do such projects, funded projects and in, in living labs and all, they do such funded projects and they make uh, micro hydro power plants. We have projects in uh, Munar, Wayanad and such areas where we have this uh, surplus water sources and all. Uh, we go for such a micro hydro power plants. So, like just an, as an introduction, we know that the hydro power transforms the potential energy of a mass of water flowing in a river or stream with a certain vertical fall. You, you have, we, yeah, we have already seen in the hydroelectric power plant explanation. So, when the vertical water flow through the penstock, when water falls, there is a kind of potential energy which is being converted to kinetic energy. So. That energy is used for rotating the prime mover and electricity is generated. So, hydraulic power is the cheapest source of energy. It is renewable and environmentally environmental friendly. So, the potential annual power generation in a hydropower project is proportional to the head and flow of the water. So, you see, in a hydro, already you, I have explained to you, in a hydro electric power generation, we use a turbine and the turbines are of different types, Pelton, Francis and Kaplan turbine to be uh, to be uh, precise. So they have different uh, run of flow and uh, like head. So depending upon the available head and other things, uh, we choose which um, uh, which turbine we are using. So that and, and the selection of the turbine uh, actually depends, uh, actually impact the overall output of the uh, hydroelectric power plant. So hydroelectric power plant is a bigger entity and here our main focus is on a micro hydro power plant where the generated uh, electricity will be, uh, generated power will be a maximum of 100 kilowatt only. And it's mainly used for develop in, in, uh, providing electricity to isolated communities or villages, okay? So this is actually the setup of a micro hydro power plant. So here, here we can see that there will be the canal will be there, the water will be collected from here and it will be taken through the pen stoke and it will be brought to a small power house. So inside the power house, we will have the, uh, this belt and wheel and the generator and everything. The control panel will be, control box will be there. So everything will be there and that in turn will produce electricity and that will be given to the like maybe it will be for a small house or it will be a community of people like in a village where we're where 15 to 20 people are living. So such areas we can use a small a micro hydro power plant. It's called micro generation of electricity, like small hydro generation. So here in this micro hydro power system, water is diverted into the penstock, yes. And some generators can be placed directly into the steam. 
This is happening inside the power house. Okay. So like hydro power plants, uh, we have very uh, different types of classification according to the capacity, large, medium, small, mini, micro. So our focus is on micro hydro power plant. Then according to head, high, medium, low. Then according to the purpose means single purpose and multi-purpose. And according to the facility types, like where, where we are taking the water, from where we take the water, it is also converted into runoff river, reservoirs, in-stream, pumped storage. It's also, it's a very uh, important uh, example of renewable energy, pump storage. Then according to hydrological relation, like single and cascaded, yes. Then according to transmission system, isolated or grid connected. I told you, you know, uh, when surplus uh, power, uh, when after, even after our use, if the power is remaining, we uh, thread it back to the national grid. So such uh, types of hydro power plants, we call the connect, grid connected. These are all higher level topics. Just understand what it is. So our topic is micro hydro power plant where generated power is from 5 kilowatt to 100 kilowatt. Kilowatt, okay, KW. So, a micro hydro power is a type of hydroelectric power that typically produces up to 100 kilowatt of electricity using the natural flow of water. You understood that. Then, this type of power can, can provide power to an isolated home or a small community. So, already in my lecture, I explained all these things. So, micro hydro system complement the solar energy because in many areas in winter the water flow is maximum and solar energy is minimum so this is uh, something which you can think like uh, like if you want an islander or I, like if you want a separate setup why can't we use a solar energy because solar energy will not work in uh, because in many areas we don't get enough solar energy in winter and other season so in that time we have higher amount of water flow and that can be used for generation of electricity simple so in such areas, the micro hydro power is used along with the photovoltaic solar. So it will be like a grid connected system. So all we call like a distributed generation or all we call. So such higher terms you don't need. You just understand what is a micro hydro power plant and what are its parts and where it is used, why it is used. Okay. So the various components, as I have shown in the figure, the construction of a micro hydro power plant is site specific. The micro hydro power plant we cannot uh, construct everywhere we need the reservoir right so actually during my mpec studies uh, i have visited like i have been a part of a project where we constructed a micro hydro power plant we actually got the funding for that so we constructed a micro hydro power plant for a tribal people in munar so that place is called komaligudi i have actually uh, added some pictures which i took that time in the coming uh, the forward slides you have it so, like, it, it is size specific. We need the like natural resources. We need that. So it is made up of a number of components. So some of them are like intake, like what, from where the water is taken. That's what we call intake. Then the canal. Then the canal. Then the penstock, turbine, generator, and controlling unit. Everything you have. Intake, canal, penstock. Like, so they give different name. Generator and controlling unit also will be. Uh, Controlling unit will also be inside the power house only. That picture also I have added, the picture which I took from in from my camera, I have added. Then it will be more clear for you. So uh, this is a bit more a good figure. If, if at all in your exam, some, uh, some question is asked, means you can do a rough outline. Like the major parts, you just, uh, reservoir should be there, a pen stock should be there, then a control panel should be there, then the generator, then a Simply just make an outline and mark the parts. Like you can just uh, drop dots, name them, and you can draw that. So the turbine means it converts the flow and pressure of energy into mechanical energy. Turbines are of two types, as I already explained, reaction and impulse turbine. And depending upon the head of the available water, further divided into three categories. There is high, medium, and low. You, you know how they are classified, alternate the plan and turbine. So normally we use a pulton turbine because normally the head will be high. According to the size specification, we choose the turbine to use in micro hydro power plant. So here is a generator. The standard generators used in a micro hydro power project are the synchronous generator and the induction motor. So they are all uh, AC generators. Uh, just understand, like it's um, just understand we use a generator. So two types of generators that, that we use is induction and synchronous. Don't go deep into what it is. Okay. 
So induction generator means uh, it has an induction motor which rotates one to five percent faster than than the synchronous speed, so that it can achieve negative slip to run in a generating mode. So these uh, things uh, just understand that we have two motors. One is a induction motor, and another is a synchronous motor. So here, uh, this is actually the electronic load controller. You, I told you know we have a controller inside. So it, it, it will be having a variable frequency drive, uh, such things will be there and it will con, uh, control the overall things. So, so this varying speed, so this uh, speed variation it should affect both the frequency and voltage. So in order to control these things, we, we use an electronic load controller. Just understand the base only because in your uh, undergraduate syllabus, you don't need much things. And advantage is like the economic energy source. It's, it's like an e economical form of energy. There's no reservoir required. Like we don't need a big reservoir. Like we, not, we don't need to store water and such things we don't need. Then we utilize on the natural flow of water. Yes, we don't need a reservoir. We use natural flow of water. No harmful effect on the surrounding and no costly equipment is used. Yes, then the disadvantage is like it's a low, but we don't uh, generate much power in summer because we don't have the much water flow, then it's a problem. Then suitable side carriers because we cannot construct it everywhere and efficiency is also low because we need a lot of water, but still it's very economical, no? And the applications like the mechanical and electrical applications we have in terms of production, it can be used for agro production, timber, textile fabrication, then mechanical use, heating, lighting. For a small community, it is all very useful. Consumption is lighting, cooking, cooling. So, like for, for production and consumption, this maximum, this hydro micro hydro power plant is actually an asset. You can generate your own power and you can use it. So, this is actually the pictures which I was talking about. Uh, this is actually from the uh, from my own visit. We, I have been a part of this project, and uh, this is how we generated the micro hydro power plant in Komalaguti, Muna. This pen stocks. Actually, these are all my friends, and all them. My picture is not there. So this actually the uh, like pulp and wheel. We it was constructed there. It's like um, uh, it's been some four five years. Actually, my our uh, my seniors were doing this. Then later when we came, we got a chance to visit, and then it was commissioned. Like it was happening. This is the controlling unit, and this is from where the pen stock is going. It's actually inside. So as you see, it's actually inside the like a forest area, right? In Munar, actually. So that's all regarding uh, what we call a small hydro generation or a micro hydro generation. So, from your examination point of view, what is important is advantages and disadvantages. Then you should be able to write uh, some points about what is a micro hydro power plant, why a micro hydro power plant, where a micro hydro power plant, such things. Then the application level, why, why where we use these things. That's all. Then the uh, general outline, like just understand in terms of blocks. You have the canal, you have the water coming, your pen stock is there, the power, power is there, the powerhouse is there, the controller is there, the generator is there. That's it. From the powerhouse, we give it to the other, uh, other domestic users we are using it. That's it. Thank you.